morning, good morning. Welcome to 4 by 8 Paper Stuff. This is Beth. We are in Rolling Down the Road, this magazine, which I made up some prompts. And we're on day 16. And here we go. I almost forgot to make a video. It's late last night for you. Tonight. Right now for me. I guess that makes no sense. I don't like this page. But it is what it is. And today is the second to the last prompt. These love things, which is actually something quite obscene, but we're gonna use the example of the four blocks. And I don't know what else I'm gonna do. I don't know how I'm going to do this, except that, why don't we just go for it? Let's just go for it. So I'm going to fast forward. So I decided to make four boxes, um, and I didn't know where I was going to go from there. I I really just basically um, blocked out four boxes in this spread with washi tape. And in doing this, I still did not know what I was going to do. Um, but I thought I have been liking the effect of watercolor or a watercolor product on white acrylic paint which I guess could act like gesso, sort of, all real artists, please excuse me for uh, suggesting it might be the same thing. So I got out my acrylic white and put it over those boxes for sure, and then put it over the rest of the page, still not knowing what I'm going to do. <laughs> but I do have my Neo Color 2s out, and... I'm going to use those as my watercolor and I'm drawing it enough that I can work with it. Um, I, I still don't know what I'm doing at this point, but I know I have these beautiful currants and some of them still haven't been unwrapped as you can see. I unwrapped kelp and I unwrapped Caribbean Sea I think or something like that. Basically, they're bluesing greens. And just added watercolor on top of the acrylic. Here comes the kelp. And <clears throat> I managed to stay in four different shades of blue greens, which I liked. So then I decided I that picture had purple in it, and I was going to add a little purple or pink. And still... The paper's not talking, the paint's not talking, but I have four boxes, and that was my goal. Um, admittedly, the color does something funky on this acrylic paint, which I just love. Uh, I don't know how to describe it. It's not bubbly. It just water, it just reacts cool to me. And so I decided to add yellow because yellow, I love yellow and everything that brightens everything up. Um, looking for more color suggestions. And decided to get out purple and just scribble. And I ended up creating a hierarchy, my own alphabet over here. I tried to write out four on the left hand side. Um, it sort of came out. But the other side on the right, oh yeah, that's an upside down four, right? There's four over there. I, I don't know what this is called except just making a mess. But this was a very, very, very freeing and very, very fun mess. Um, there's a tiny bit of white space. We couldn't have that, so we filled in yellow. And now I'm going to take off my tape. Good idea, bad idea, the jury's still out. But as I was tearing it, I was ripping the paper. 
I'm okay though. It turned out I, I kind of like this. This is an exercise in going for it, not overthinking, not trying to do something that somebody else has done that you're going to try to do. Just go for it. Four boxes. That's all I knew I was going to do. And I kind of like this. So now I'm going to highlight them a little bit more with a purple frame. And hopefully I haven't gone too far. But I don't think I have. Well, well, I needed something else. So I kind of went in with the dark blue. Just putting in some shapes and squiggles and things. But I like that. Do you see an upside down four? That happened. Four spelled over here, sort of, rather elongated and stretched and abstractly. Kind of weird, but I like it way better than that. And tomorrow is our last day. I might make up a couple more because I have a couple more pages left. That was kind of fun. The washi tape made the texture really come out of the paper. I ripped some of the paper, the layering of this paper, but it just added texture to it. I'm, I'm okay with that. Oh, love it. <laughs> Bye.